Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. Today we will design this cute, wonderful cluster earrings, teardrop earrings. I used two different types of uh, dangles here. And then I used these teardrops that we got from Sam Speedbox subscription for the month of October, sorry, September 2023. So this is for, let's just do this one first. Okay. And this, we got two of the sets of the teardrop. One is the green and the other one is this metallic black. It has a domed side and a sort of flat side. And this one is domed on both sides. So that's the difference between this one and this one. So I have, let's just do this first. For that we need um, the four millimeter truck beads and the six millimeter truck bead in the green color this one is i think copperish black and then uh, for the other ones that we need all of these right so let's just do this for this i'm using 24 gauge wire in this uh, the gold color the gold color is not a bright gold it's kind of a um, neutral like subtle gold i would say so that uh, we have this and then we have we need our tools the wire cutters the round nose pliers needle nose pliers and if you want to straighten your wire you can straighten your wire with your fingers um, you don't need a uh, nylon jaw pliers even so first of all what we will do is we will create the tangles for that you can either cut your wire and then create a an dangle but you can also make the dangle uh, in, with the spool itself without cutting all you need to do is add your bead to the wire take the tip of the wire I'm using my tweezer nose pliers you can use your needle nose pliers if you want this is a Zuron uh, plier which I really love about just take the tip and create a U just like that right and then squish that you a bit you will have your head pin so you can also use um, your head pins but um, I think I really like this one the thing is some head pins no matter where you buy from um, it is hard to find the ones which doesn't tarnish but with these wires, you know for sure it doesn't tarnish. It is tarnish resistant. Uh, that's what I have been uh, told and my experience too. So here we go. Hold that thing. Go slightly up. See that how I went up. And then come down that way. You will have a nice... wrap it's like wrapping your scarf around your neck then when you have a short tail you can either cut down the short tail or tuck the tail inside with your pliers as well so turn it around there we go so that's done i am going to do more so i will show you guys more then take the next bead, put it in, and also you can cut it. Let me show you guys. Cut it about, say, an inch or so. Take the tip of the wire, make a U, just like that. And then press that U. Okay, we have our head pin. Then add the bead, take your round nose pliers, keep it, bend the wire, reposition your wires and then circle it. You have a question mark now, then reposition your pliers, bring it around, straighten that loop. Now you have this. See how I, I took it up there? That's important because um, that's how you get it right you know 
then when you bend the wire to wrap it around see how it comes perfectly in the middle so that's why I do that no. because it's a 24 kh wire it's easier to wrap it with your fingers you can also use 22 gauge wire it's totally up to you and you can use your pliers to wrap it around too then snip the excess off and have a small trash can like this I like to put it in that rather than on your mat tuck the tail in just press it against your coil that's what you're doing there we go now two of the dangles are ready so we can either cut So approximately let me see how much it is it's a three centimeter guys so one two three four five and six you can do it like this or you can actually um, you know work with this both both the things will work so take it see it just scratches my nail out there but I don't wear um, permanent nail or so I don't even use nail polish that much so it doesn't matter for me but just watch out if you guys have those keep your pliers bend it see how it is right between that bend it at 90 degrees just like that then reposition your pliers and then bend it around see you will have like this and if you see it from this standpoint it's to the side right so you take this and just make it straight just like that and now again I want the tail to go all the way up see that at that point you can take your pliers hold your loop and then come back it comes to the middle and wrap it around straighten this if you want to and then snip off the sexes take your pliers and tuck that short tail in so then we have our wraps so I will do it one more time make a U crush that U so you will wrap it until you reach the bead you don't want to you know cut it off it up prematurely because you want the loop to come all the way to the bead so two more to go we are done with four
make this straight if the U is not completely closed take your time to close it it won't look nice otherwise so then take your bead again do the same so the wrap loops actually the more you practice the better you get at it I won't say I'm the best but when I'm making a couple of projects with wrap loops then I get better at it so I have to actually make myself you know get used to the fact and uh, it's not that I don't know how to do it it is just that you know take your time be patient and practice more with the wire the more you practice the better you get since I am doing projects like wire working bead weaving macrame crochet I normally tend to go all around so I just don't do one particular set all the time um, so I feel that I need to constantly you know tone my skills this is a forgiving project though you don't have to have very nice loops because of the fact that it is going to be you know hidden um, there so I just take about say 10 centimeters of uh, 10 centimeters is also not needed but 9 centimeter take your teardrop this is top drill so it's side drill so just about say one third I keep on one side and the rest on the other side make both come and meet on top of that teardrop just like that okay and then bend the short wire and then wrap it around the long wire one complete wraps and then you can snip that off so um, I would like this wraps to be shorter in the other earring I did couple more wraps with this wire so I finished the wire completely so with this I'm not doing that okay and then you can tuck the tail in if you want to so then add all the dang on top so I did six you can do five seven nine how much ever you have the patience for you can do it um, the more the merrier trust me the more the better it looks so after you add those take that six millimeter bead and keep it on top just put it on top right once you have that so one more thing we need is the ear wire I'm using this lever back lever back ear wires you can use French ear wire if you want to so the thing is this ear wire has uh, the loop here if you are wearing this this is perpendicular to this right so this loop needs to be parallel to like the same as this so I hold it like this bend it at 90 degrees reposition my pliers go around make myself a loop and then come back what I do is I wrap it around once or twice 
until you reach the bead and then come around cross across um, the bead and then I did go on top of that around that six millimeter too okay just once that's it so now you can either cut it here which I would prefer to do so just make sure you cut the right one and then that's it that's done so this creates a earring like that so now you can actually add it to this loop and then finish it off but I really like to finish off this way and the lever backs can be opened up slightly just like that and then add this I want the cross to come in front and then close that so this you would do how you open and close a jump ring back and forth motion here we have our earring ready so um, see this it's stiff and it stands like that so if you want it to be a little loose you need to do this loose I mean you need to leave a little bit space and then come down and wrap it that way this will become loose so I hope you guys like this tutorial one of this is done now we shall move on to the next steering which is right here so in this what I did was the same thing but I added the bead so let me show you guys the same deal as we did with the other dangle but I added two beads here that's the only difference between this earring and that earring and also the difference is I didn't add any bead on top so I added the green bead on top here I didn't add any beads just the dangles I wanted a little bit of movement once I did that earring I thought I want a little bit of movement so I didn't add anything I didn't tighten this up or anything so that um, you know this one moves freely see this there is a lot of movement here so I wanted that so if you leave a little bit of gap this is what the look will be so for this also you can take three um, three centimeters of wire or just a tad bit more take the end make a U press it against okay then take that four millimeter bead and this nugget kind of a bead triangle kind of a bead that we got from the box and then bend it to 90 degrees reposition make a loop and wrap it around tuck that tail in and that's it that's done I'll make more and then come back
Now we shall assemble our things. So take the bead. As I said, there is two sides to it. So two third needs to be the side, one third needs to be that side. Bend it. I mean doesn't have to be one third per se. Okay. Just a little bit. Pinch it there. Take the short tail and wrap it around the big one. So straighten that up. You can wrap, wrap, wrap. Just a bit more for you to give some space. Then snip that off as close as possible. Now you are ready to add the dangles. This time I'm not adding a bead on the top. So what I'm going to do here is hold it like this. I want the loop to be parallel, not perpendicular. So bend, reposition, come back. Okay. You don't have to do it tightly and snip it off. So make your loop straight and that's what we have. Now all you need to do is take your lever box, open it up how you would open a jump ring gently and then add this on top, close it. There we go. So here is our beautiful teardrop earrings. So if you think about it this way, it can be this way. And then we have our greens as well, the green teardrop. Slight difference, but it is actually, um, you know, quite different from this. The same pattern, but quite different. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos a couple of times a week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.